Welcome back to Savvy Serena. Uh, today, I you, we're going to do a cook with Serena. Um, today, I'm making a strawberry tunnel cake. Uh, it looks really difficult, but it's not. At least it doesn't seem that way. Um, I'm pulling it from the recipe book that my mom gave me years ago. It's got some really good recipes in it. Um, and all these recipes have Eagles brand milk in them. Uh, but this is the one that I'm going to be attempting today. I don't know if mine will look like that. You know. But if it don't, I think it's still going to taste great. But come cook with me. And let's see if we can do this. Because it looks like a really fun... I think it's going to be kind of a light dessert. We'll have to wait and see. But I think it'll be a good one. So come cook with me. Okay, you need, and I'm going to cheat a little bit, you need one pre-baked angel food cake. Now, you can bake your own, that's fine. You just need it to be 10 inches. You can do it, but I'm doing a prepared one. Uh, that's what the recipe called for. That's what I'm doing. So one 10 inch prepared round angel food cake. You need six ounces of packaged cream cheese softened you need it to come to room temperature which this is eight ounces and i'm just going to take six from it you need one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk or eagles brand milk you need a half no one third cup of real lemon juice you need two to four drops of red food coloring. You need a cup of chopped fresh strawberries, which I have already pre-cut. And you need 12 ounces of Cool Whip or whipped. And you need an additional, which I have in this bowl here, I have additional bigger large strawberries to put on top to garnish. You want to take a thin knife and you want to go about an inch down which I think I'm going to do about that much because this isn't quite an inch and you want to cut a top layer off. even but that's okay and you want to set the top layer to the side for right now once you've taken your paring knife and went on the inside or the out layer and the inside then you're going to take your paring knife and go in between both of those and just start cutting to get pieces out. Can y'all see that? And I'm going to take a bowl just cut my you need to save your cut pieces and now I'm going to go through the entire cake and cut out little pieces once you get done with the whole cutting the cake out you want to leave at least a one inch base underneath it. So when you pick it up, it should feel still pretty firm on the bottom when you pick it up. You want to take a package of softened cream cheese. Make sure it's been sitting out and gotten room temperature. And then I'm going to just take a ham mixer and beat it up. Now you want to gradually beat in the sweetened condensed milk. 
Now you want to put a four, uh, third cup of lemon juice. You want to add two or three drops of food coloring. And then you want to stir in the cake mix, the cake pieces that you cut up. And the chopped strawberries. Now you want to stir. Now you want to fold in one cup of Cool Whip. Now we're going to replace the filling back into the cavity. I still have a lot of filling left, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the top back on it. And it's going to chill for three hours in the fridge. Okay, so I've let this sit in the refrigerator overnight. I'm going to put Cool Whip all over the top of it. And then you want to garnish with fresh strawberries. So I hope you tried this cake. It sounds like a good one. Um, if you like this, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Y'all come back now. Y'all here?